Hey guys, Matt here. So yeah, it has been a while. It has been a quite a while. Uh, in short, I mean, this is mainly a hobby channel. I don't make I don't make these videos to grow as, as a stock YouTuber anymore. I mean, you've seen stock YouTubers over the past couple of years and how great of guys they are and whatnot. And basically, I'll shorten it down to this. I know what kind of videos I make. I need to make if I want to grow as a stock YouTuber, and I no longer have any desire to make them. But for now, let's go on with the uh, portfolio update. Right now, I am doing very well. Very well indeed. Now, if you're in the finale, you know that dividends hit, and so it blocks out the numbers from, from you know, the, the companies from the overall bottom line. And check out my, my other videos if you want proof, but I am well into the green on FedEx. And what that means is that this number here is even better than, than 10%. I am well into the five digits as far as gains. And we're at, we're at $113,000. And yeah, I mean, most of our stocks are, claw, are clawing their way back. Now, we'll get to Jivo in a second. We'll, we'll definitely talk about them in a few minutes. But, I mean, Google is in the 26%. Uh, Meta is 103% gains. I will... I will now, I did want to sell Meta, start selling more Meta. I've been talking about this for a while. But what am I going to put the money into? I mean, the only stocks that are, the only stocks that are down are AT and T and Verizon, and I'm definitely not putting money in the Jivo. Uh, we got SCHD, which is back into the green now. SCHD is a dividend stock, which I you know I don't buy for capital gains, but the fact is this is in the green is a good sign. Target is well into the green again. I mean, you've seen how Target was doing just a few months ago. Uh, Tapestry, it's well, I mean, it's clawing its way back. VOO is definitely in the green. Uh, ATT and Verizon. Now, these are still in the red. These these are my only red stocks, but they are, I mean, a few months ago, this was in the 14s or 15s, and this was like 35, 34, well, close to $30 in, in, into the, I mean, close to $30. So, these these companies here are very slowly clawing their, their way back. And these are dividend stocks. I'm not buying these stocks for capital gains, so... Hey, I'll take it. So, just taking a look at my my lot, my Yahoo playlist over here. I mean, most companies, even companies I don't own, are. I mean, they're doing very well. I mean, Friday was a red day, but they're doing well. Intel, which I, I, I mean, in, in retro, in retrospect, I shouldn't have sold. Intel is is in the fifty dollar range. Palantir is doing well. Uh, Qualcomm is doing well. Tesla is doing well. Uh, I mean, these companies are obviously doing well. Walgreens, which I did sell. I'm still very glad I sold Walgreens, but I mean Walgreens is is doing better than it was. Any companies that are mildly successful are doing very well. That of course leaves out companies like Nikola, Highland, or and Jivo. You know how I feel about Highland. Highland is a trash company. No matter no matter uh, stock buyback programs is going to change that. I mean whether they actually buy back stocks or not. Now that's I mean that's up that's up in the air. Who knows whether they're actually going to do that. Even if they buy back all, all the stock that they said they were going to do, that doesn't mean that Cardo is going to be successful or not. And so, yeah, winners win and losers lose. And with Jivo, the jury's still out on Jivo. Now, Jivo, now, Jivo is a company that I've owned for quite a while. It's easily my worst performing stock. And here's the deal with it. I haven't put any money into Jivo recently, and I'm not going to. Uh, because, well, Jivo is a company that has problems that, well... It has this, it's in a situation that Hylian or or Nikola wishes it could be in. Jivo has a bunch of customers which has signed contracts to pay it money. And the only thing Jivo has to do is to build the plant in order to make that happen. To fulfill the end of the contract. And these are contract tracks with Delta Airlines and big name companies that have made their contracts publicly known. And right now, Jivo is uh, struggling to... Uh, financed the Net Zero One project, which you would think it would, it would it would already have done. But right now, the jury's still out because uh, Jivo is currently negotiating with the Department of Energy uh, for a loan, which will finance the project. Uh, we are still about, I guess, six to nine months uh, before we know if that loan is successful or not. If that loan is successful, fantastic! I will continue holding on to Jivo. If Jivo announces that the loan has failed or has fallen through, then yeah, this was indeed a failure. And right now, I have about twenty five hundred, well twenty four hundred, out of my eighty two hundred dollar investment. And at this point, I'm down so much that I might as well wait it, wait it out. I have, I make more than enough money for my for my other stocks and for my first my day job. I can afford to let this sit. 
And if this goes to zero or close to it, fair enough. Then we can chalk this up as a failure. But if the loan goes through and the money goes up, then fantastic. I guess we're back to winning. So as far as my moves in the future, uh, like I said in, in the beginning, I'm pretty bored now as far as the whole stock YouTuber thing. Like I may buy some more at and <laughs> I may some my may buy some Verizon. I may sell some some Meta to buy AT and T or, or Verizon. Verizon, but that's it. No fancy stock YouTubers. No three stocks to buy right now. Nothing like that. Just boring investing, which has done my portfolio a very 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 good turn. But anyways, take care. Have a great day and eat your vegetables.